Happy New Year's Eve to all you guys out there on YouTube. How y'all doing? It's your boy Josh, aka Resurrection, and I am back again to show you guys another sneaker pickup in my personal collection. So as you all know, Nike and Adidas have been killing it in the sneaker game lately. They've been pumping out sneakers, it seems like, almost every day. And there's just only so much we can catch up with. No, I always say this, and never buy into the hype. It's a hard thing to do. Trust me, I've been there. I've been a victim of it. I'm sure you guys have as well. But I will say to buy what you really like. Bro, did you see how much those off-whites are going for? It's mad crazy expensive now. They're size 10, right? Well, who cares, bro? They're size eight. You know, you can sell them for like a thousand bucks or something. Dude, just take it, you mother. Aside from all that nonsense, yo, I just wanna jump back into the video. Anyways, what I'm about to show you is a very, very dope sneaker. And for the record, I just wanna say this. I have always been a real legit fan of this sneaker model, even before all the hype came about this shoe. Here you go, you got your Air Jordan 1 uh, retro box right here. Uh, before I proceed any further, Shout out to Soul Supremacy for helping me get this sneaker in my collection. This is a really, really sought out sneaker for me personally. Boom, you got right here the Air Jordan 1, not for resale. Uh, this is a very dope sneaker in my honest opinion. Uh, when I saw Jordan Brand release these um, a while back, you know, I, I had to have them. They were just so freaking cool and, and the whole concept behind these sneakers is just amazing yeah i i really love these sneakers man it's it's just really really awesome to have and um, air jordan ones are like the most produced uh jordan retros out there in the market but you know they're just timeless classic i feel like it's kind of just like fans or converse you know everybody rocks them universally you know no matter what age group you are in and i feel like this is this is that sneaker when it comes to air jordans you know Anybody can rock them, no matter what age, religion, race, whatever you know you are. This is like a timeless shoe right here. Um, but specifically, this colorway is ooh, it's just it's awesome, man. It's one of my favorites. Um, definitely gonna keep this. This is for my personal collection. Um, and I'm gonna go into more detail and show you guys a little more in depth of the sneaker. All right, guys. So welcome back. Here we are again with just the sneakers in the video frame this time. Um, as you can see, these are the not for resales. They are just in the box right now. Um, I'm not gonna go into too much detail about the box other than the size 11. Um, these retail at $160, as you can see right there. Um, barcode. And then just kind of give you a 360 of the sneaker. Um, purchased by Soul Supremacy, which is their sticker tag right there, established 2010. Great people. Um, but let's go ahead and take these out of the box. All right, so I'm just gonna kind of go over um, some of the hints of the sneaker and what, you know, revolves around the sneaker. So, as you can see, uh, this is, I'm holding the right shoe right now. Um, on the back, I'm gonna start with that because that's the most thing, you know, that pops out the most. But you have no photos. Um, like I said, Jordan Brand, they know exactly what they're doing in terms of, you know, they, they see, they listen to what the consumers do with the sneakers and how we pose with them or, you know, how we take photos with these. So they know exactly what it is. You know, they, I, I feel like this was a sneaker where they just kind of wanted to laugh at us and they're like, ah, like, look at those guys, you know, grown men taking sneaker photos and, you know, tippy toeing and all that stuff. This, this is like a sneaker, I feel like, that Nike joked around doing and and you know what i'm not mad at that i think it's funny i think it's really really creative it's something creative that uh nike typically doesn't really do i think it's like kind of the first time that they did something like this and i'm glad they did something like this especially since they did it with a jordan one because it makes me love the jordan one even more um so yeah the whole no photos thing to me is hilarious and it is stitched um if you guys are wondering it's not printed um then we'll move on to the side you have the not for resale, which is printed on the sneakers midsole. It is not stitched, people. So I've seen people that said they got stitched pairs uh, where it says not for resale. And 99.9% .9 pretty sure they're gonna be fake if they're stitched. So to have a peace of mind, printed, not for resale is printed on. It is not uh, stitched, people. Um, and then of course, you know, in the inside right here, inner soft line you have two different prints so on the left shoe it says sorry this pair is not numbered which is pretty funny because jordan ones uh a lot of the like the 
older Jordan ones are numbered like one of whatever quantity was made and this one says this pair is not numbered so it's just kind of something they wanted to kind of laugh at us about um, and then on the right sneaker it has a different print which says general release right there um this was not a general release in my opinion like this this these joints freaking sold out like no joke they sold out instantly you know the moment i try to get them they just i i was unsuccessful and that is not a general release like they i felt like they were just extremely limited that's again that's nike's way of trolling us the consumers um i thought it was hilarious how they did that but i was pretty salty i'm not gonna lie you know and you got your lace bag with your your wings on there and then here's another thing that's pretty funny on the tongue you have the words where and me which is basically telling us the consumers to wear the damn shoes because shoes are meant to be worn people you have people um and i've been victim to this so i'm guilty as charged as well where you'll buy a sneaker you won't wear it for you know 10 15 years and then you finally try them on and basically they're unwearable because you know the midsole gets weak or the air bubble unit starts fogging up or you know shoes are meant to be worn you know like wear your shoes you know you only live once you know shoes are not going to last forever you know i'm just being 100 percent with you guys can't take them with you when you die so wear them have fun with them while you're still here so that's Nike's way of kind of just laughing at us because, you know, sneakerheads want to keep their sneakers as fresh and preserve them as long as possible. So these are kind of funny. It's just like, where are me? You know, put me on feet. Um, and then here too on the toe box, which is really funny. It says, please crease. Um, sneakerheads do not like to crease their sneakers. Well, at least some of them, you know, I'm not speaking on everyone's behalf. I'm, for me, I don't give a damn. I used to be that person where I did not want my sneakers to be creased. You know, I was just like, oh, like they're creased. I can't wear them anymore. Like, who cares, bro? They're shoes. At the end of the day, you know, shoes are going to get creased if you wear them. You know, shoes are meant to be worn. So I think creasing adds character. And, you know, you see those funny memes with people who make like memes about their shoes being creased or like, you know, it just it just gets all dramatic and it's not that big of a deal, people. You know, I think that creases on shoes add character. So um, that's just my two cents. You guys might have a different opinion. Um, I'm not hating, but for me personally, you know, if I'm gonna wear the shoe, they're gonna get creased no matter what. Um, and then I think another thing, yeah, another thing I wanted to show you guys, let me take out these inserts, which is funny. I saw this earlier, so I'm gonna show you guys. On the left shoe, you have on the insole it says no and on the right shoe it says laces it says no l's that was hilarious to me because i took a major l as i'm sure many other people did as well trying to get the sneaker so i took a loss i did not get the sneaker for retail you know i had to pay the price unfortunately but you know what like it's funny and I'm chuckling at Nike because they know exactly like how limited this sneaker or how hard it was gonna be. And they knew a lot of people were gonna get ill. So um, the fact that they put that in the insole is kind of just like jabbing at us, the consumer. And um, you know, I don't know how I feel about that. I think it's funny, but at the same time, I'm, I'm a bit insulted, Nike, you know, for real. Nah, I'm just playing. But really though, I, I love that creativity. You know, it's, it's just my salt that's talking right now, but um, yeah, I definitely did not get these for retail. I'm just letting you know right now, people, I had to pay resale for these. So uh, I think it's funny how Nike did that. And um, overall, the quality on these are pretty good. I'm not going to say they're the best Jordan 1 quality that Nike has produced lately, but they are pretty high up there. Like my camera, if it catches the quality, as you can see, it's pretty wrinkled, which, you know, leather, good leather usually comes with crease, crease lines like this. and that wrinkly look for leather because it shows that it, you know it's like genuine leather you know i don't know if this is like 100 genuine leather it's probably like synthetic leather parts of it but overall this is pretty good for a sneaker let alone from nike um yeah it's a really really nice quality sneaker in my opinion um i think the shattered backboards are still the best quality in terms of quality uh from a jordan one but you know it's a pretty, pretty good sneaker. Um, the quality is, is not bad, um, in my honest opinion. So 
Um, yeah, that, that's pretty much it for these. So, uh, you know, let me know, you know, let me know what you guys thought about these. Like, did you cop them? Did you not? Like, I want to know your guys' thoughts because just because I like them doesn't mean you will. And um, that, you know, that that's fair. You know what I mean? Everybody has their own opinion. I love these personally. Definitely wanted to show you guys this before I put them on feet for myself. Um, so there you have it. You have the not for resale Air Jordan 1. Anyways, y'all, that's pretty much going to wrap up this video. Thank you, guys. This is the last video for 2018 for your boy. Happy New Year's Eve to everybody out there. I hope you guys had a wonderful holidays. I hope you guys had a really good time with your family and friends and you know whoever you spent it with. I hope it was a blast for you guys. This wraps 2018 for your boy. 2019 is just around the corner. I'm ready. I hope you guys are ready. Big things are coming from me in 2019, as it will, I hope, for you guys as well. Until then, I'll see you in the next one, guys. Bye.